Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So today we're actually getting started on this van conversion. Uh, we've done all the planning which has taken up quite a lot of time but it's actually time to start making a move and doing some work. Firstly, I think the things we have to do is take out this ply lining to see what's underneath and to see what sort of condition the paint works in. Under this we're really hoping there's no rust. So let's get cracking on with that. Okay, so we've got the first panel off and um, it looks it looks okay so far I haven't noticed any damage or anything that seems untoward so it wasn't too bad to get off either some of the screws were really close to rounding and I can guarantee that at some point during doing all this I'm gonna have to drill out some of the screws because I know they're not that good you just see like here where them screws were tapped into and they're all around but yeah overall really good let's move on to the second wall so now we've got the driver's side ply off and we have found some damage this isn't something I wasn't expecting because there is some damage on the outside uh, but I can actually see what it looks like on the inside now so I'm just going to show you so here you can see where they've welded a plate in and made a repair and also down here you can see where the arch doesn't meet the bodywork so when we first got this van I've got a friend who does paint and bodywork and I took it to him to have a quick look at. There's no damage that he seemed to deem anything structural and also he said it's mainly cosmetic. If I wanted to make it perfect I could redo the repair and try and get a better finish. What he did say is obviously if there's any gaps when I take all these things out is just to fill it with sealant and that'll just stop any moisture getting into the van. Um, and also stop the cold getting in because we're going to insulate all of this um, there's no point insulating if you're going to leave a big gap going out to outside now we have to tackle the floor of the van unfortunately obviously old screws and old screw heads these aren't coming out that easy so I'm just going along trying to do my best I'm using a mix of like a hand screwdriver and a low low impact I don't know what it's called but like a little electric like hand screw thing and then obviously the drill with the on um, a really low torque it seems to be working so far but yeah it's a long slow process we've got a screw head that's stripped and this is meant to be able to take out um, screws that are like stripped but we'll see how it gets on I haven't used it before so well I can safely say nothing so far I'm going to try drill a pilot hole through it even more and uh, see if it works then okay so we have all but one screw out of the ply boards and all but one of the anchor points out as well so these are the anchor points and these nuts are a T40 and as I mentioned I don't have one of those and there's one that almost went around I could feel it was just about to slide so I stopped uh, Jay, I've sent Jade on a bit of a mission to screw fix. She's going to get a T40 and also more grips because we don't have any more grips. Hopefully we can get a clamp onto that screw that's stubborn and stuck. Get it out that way. I've got to say, the thing that honestly makes the difference when doing any jobs is having the right tools. And that's one thing that me and Jade always struggle with because we haven't invested in good tools ever. So we've always just struggled, begged and borrowed. Um, but we get by, we do get by. There we go, popped out. You just said dirty it is. Mm. 
There we go. Lovely jubbly. So I can give this all a clean now separately. Jade's back. We've got more grips and we have T40s. Um, so now I should be able to take out the last screw holding in the ply and the last of the anchor points. That's what we wanted. So we have managed to get every screw out of the floor. So now it's time to take this out and actually see what sort of state it is under there. It's been a builder's van for a very long time. I'm not expecting it to be perfect. Uh, let's have a look anyway. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Um, I don't really know what I was expecting. So hopefully, okay, it looks like it's mostly just dirt. I'm okay with dirt. It needs it's a bit of a scrub. It needs a scrub, it is pretty dirty. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we've missed a screw. Missed a screw. Oh. You got it. Oh baby, you got it. <laughs> you got it. <Yay>. Oh. <laughs> so it isn't too bad by the looks of it. I think it is just a lot of grime and dirt. So hopefully a good clean will have this looking a spick and span in no time. Friends been working hard all morning. I've been on the laptop working. Um, now I'm ready to pull my weight and I'm gonna do some cleaning while Bryn has a rest. There's a lot of grime here to get through, so I'm just gonna get cracking. So, as you can see, Jade has done an amazing job. It is spick and span. Unfortunately though, we are running out of daylight today, so I think we're gonna to have to carry on with this on another day. Um, the next steps are gonna include putting some carpeting in and also doing the insulation. So yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit for the next steps. Good morning guys, so uh, Bryn's at work today and I'm going to have a go at doing the sound deadening for the insulation. Um, I've watched a couple of YouTube tutorials but that is the extent of my knowledge so I'm just going to have a crack and see how we get on. Just so you know it's pretty cold today. Um, so we've got the, got the dodo mat um, sound deadening and we've got 50 sheets. Um, I mean, I imagine that's gonna be enough. It's a very small van, so hopefully that's enough. But um, yeah, we've got that, we've got our roller. I'll show you guys what we're working with here. So we've got, ta-da. So we've got 50 of these, I guess. Um, now the only problem is, I'm sure I saw in a tutorial that somebody said you should um, heat them up if it's been cold before using them. And it is very cold and these feel solid, which I forgot to do. So I'm gonna go and maybe just like stick them in front of the radiator for a little bit. Uh, and then we'll 
and then we'll make a move. I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna have a go at doing the first one and see how it turns out. So I've just cut this one into two. Uh, wish me luck. If I did, so the first tester one is on. Not gonna lie, that looks wonky to me, but hey, how important can that be? Doesn't matter if it looks great, does it? Does it? I don't know. So I've just kind of rolled it in place so it sticks a bit better and yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna carry on with all the rest. So that's this side done as well more or less um i'm gonna move on to the wheel arches next because i know they're super important um so the reason you say i'm dead in this because uh it decreases kind of the vibrations while you're driving and the noise and um, that's the theory anyway so um yeah i think i'm gonna have a crack at doing the wheel arches now Both the wheel arches are done, the walls are done, so I'm gonna move on to the ceiling now. And basically I've got to decide how small to do these pieces. Um, because it's kind of hard to guess if I've got enough to go around. So I'm just gonna do really thin pieces um, in between like the little grooves um, and see how we get on probably. The big difference between me and Bryn when we're working is Bryn is so tidy and look at the mess that I've made. I should really be keeping this tidier. Oops. Tell you what, it's hard work crawling around on your knees in here. Kills your knees. Um, but yeah, that's looking alright. I'm quite happy with that. Um, and there's loads of sheets left, so I think I'm actually going to move on to the floor now. Um, yeah, do you know what? This is not taking as long as I thought it would, actually. Um, it's by no means perfect, and uh, I'm sure some of you will let me know how bad I've messed up. Um, please let me know in the comments. Be very nice. Uh, that's the benefit of having such a small van. Like, this kind of stuff is not taking as long as I thought. So, yeah, let's get cracking. I've had a little tidy up, and now I'm going to uh, start on the floor. The uh, GoPro's legs broken, the kit's falling over. For the floor, I'm just gonna, again, try loads of these thin strips, and I'm just gonna cut them all out and then lay them out and see how many I need. Um, but it's quite hard with the floor because, like, the strips don't fit in between any of these, so wherever I put it, it's gonna be, like, kind of raised, which sucks. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see anyway how we get on. So I had a bunch left over, so I've just kind of put a bit more on the ceiling, on the um, wheel arches, a bit more on the walls, uh, and I've actually still got some left, but I think I'm going to leave it there and um, show Brian and see what he thinks, see where he wants to use the excess. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with that. And you know what? You can hear a difference. Like, you actually can when you're talking. It's much less um, echoey and rattly. And 
We'll see you in a bit. Jade has done such a good job, guys. Like, I'm, I'm well impressed. And also, it makes such a difference. I did not know how much of a difference that would make. I wish we'd have done a before and after to show you. It's absolutely smashed it. I guess the next thing we're gonna be doing is putting in insulation, putting the floor back in and recutting a new ply and then running some electrics. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and if you wanna follow along in this journey, uh, please consider subscribing, really helps us out. If you have any questions about anything we've done or any of the materials we're using or why we've done things a certain way, drop it down in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one.